Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football Saturday afternoon, right as Georgia spring game finishing up. Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs land a very exciting commitment from four-star defensive lineman Darren Ikenobin coming from the state of New Jersey. And I think my first thoughts on a kid like Darren is in a world of college football where us fans like to overcomplicate this sport a lot, Kirby Smart never does. Like Kirby Smart understands that the game of football is a height, a size, a speed game, and we got to get guys that are big bodies, that are good athletes, and got the speed. And a guy like Darren Ikenobin, Ikenobin certainly checks those boxes. He's one of those players that, yes, he has a lot of ways to go in terms of being a polished football player at the high school level. You're betting on those traits every single day of the week, a guy that has phenomenal length, a great frame. But I think what sets him apart is he is a phenomenal athlete when it comes to getting off the line of scrimmage, being explosive. You combine all those traits, those are all the traits of elite defensive linemen at the college football level. And if there's any program that we trust across the country to develop these kind of guys, it's in Athens. It's with the Georgia Bulldogs. Really excited to get into Darren Akinobin. Before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Georgia Bulldog fans. This is a program that whether we're talking the recruiting trail, whether we're talking spring practice, the amount of support y'all show the fellas truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with, I mean, just kind of the, the mold that Georgia likes to go with on the defensive line. They want to bet on these guys. And I think what stands out with Darren Ikenobin is he's a really versatile athlete, right? At 6'5", 200 in 50 pounds going into his senior year, he certainly has the athleticism to play as an edge rusher for this Georgia program. But he's also a guy that you see him at the high school level work inside at that three technique. And I mean, just challenges offensive linemen with the burst, with the size, with the length that he has on the inside. A guy that I think truly could either be an edge guy or a three tech for this Georgia program over the next couple of years kind of depending on how that body grows over the next 12 months. But I think any way you cut it, you have a guy that has the potential to be an absolute game wrecker at the college football level. Want to get into the film, talk a little bit about what he brings to the table. And I think the first thing you want to talk about here, working kind of head up on that guard, you're going to see the tackle try to get a little bit of a reach block. And you see Darren, his get off off the line of scrimmage for that size is truly incredible, right? The body control, the get off, that's probably what stands out to me the most. But again, you see a little bit raw working as an edge rusher, as a, as a pass rusher, right? Doesn't have a deep tool bag of moves. I'm betting on these traits every time, the closing speed, the length, the size. We don't see many guys at 215, 50 pounds have the athleticism and the closing speed that Darren Ikpenobin has. And so we're just kind of betting on traits right here. And I'm not saying he's a bad football player. You see times where he is dominating the game at the high school level. I guess what I'm more focusing on is this is a guy that I, in my mind, watching the film has so much meat left on the bone in terms of what he can be, what he does in terms of getting off. And I, again, I continue to go to the, the reps that he has working from the inside in terms of getting that get off, working on interior offensive linemen, and really just using that length and athleticism to really go make plays. And again, you see him, I mean, just a physical specimen at times, you want to bet on these kind of guys. I think he's a really exciting prospect that, again, needs a little bit more polish. He's going to get that polish in Athens, Georgia. That is the place you go to if you want polish as a defensive lineman. I'm really excited about this kid. And again, he's probably not going to be a year one kind of guy. He's probably more of a year two, a year three kind of guy. But you're betting on the upside that Darren has. And I think there's plenty of upside to be had. And you look at Georgia – in the 2025 class. And I think there's one thing I'll say is I'm not worried about what George is doing on the recruiting trail, specifically on the defensive line. Now there's been a lot of noise, right? USC goes to Georgia, grabs justice, Terry grabs Isaiah Gibson. I think one Georgia fans know more than anyone that Kirby smarts, not going to give up on those two guys. They've already both been on campus at Georgia since committing to USC but you take a look at the defensive line prospects, where George is trending, guys like Elijah Griffin, Bryce Davis, Gibson, Justice Terry. At the end of the day, 
you kind of know it's death taxes, Georgia finishing with the dominant defensive line class. When Georgia wants to go and make it happen on the defensive line, they normally do. I'm really excited to see how this defensive line class comes together for Georgia over the next couple of months. We'll be breaking it down. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.